Lord, everybody. God bless you. Pastor Fields, Agape Worldwide Ministry, Springfield, Virginia. We greet you in the matchless name of Jesus. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. God has blessed us with this beautiful day, and we're going to honor and glorify and lift up the holy name of Jesus. Amen. So we greet you, and we thank God for you today. We pray all is well, and what is not well, that's why we're here. Amen. We're here to praise and magnify and lift up the holy name of Jesus. And so uh, we come together to pray. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible declares that men ought to always pray and not faint. So, amen. Put in your prayer requests. Let us know what we ought to pray for. We have a noonday prayer page on Facebook. You can put in your request there. And more than that, put in your, your, your testimonies. Amen. Your praise reports as to what God has done for you. And you can help others overcome and encourage somebody today by letting them know what the Lord has done for you, not just through noonday prayer, just, just in general. If you want to put your testimonies on there and share, amen, what God has done for you, hallelujah, more than just your friends and your circle of friends can see what God has done for you. They overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. So it's so important for all of us as believers to be encouraged. I don't know about you, but I like to be encouraged sometimes by what God has done for somebody else. It's no secret what God can do, what he done for others. He can do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for you. His arms are wide open. He'll answer you. There is no secret what God can do. So, amen. So thank you for being a part of this broadcast today. Amen. Today, we're going to be in the word of God going, coming from, amen, the book of Romans, the 14th chapter, which is an excellent chapter. I was reading through this chapter, amen, today. And uh, it's just a, uh, it's full of great word of wisdom and, and, and blessing people, especially for like the multicultural church. Amen. And Paul was dealing uh, at Corinth and at, at Rome, amen, in the area, amen, because you had different people that came through. Amen. God dealt with it with Israel. Amen. Coming out of Egypt and the Egyptians that left with them and the mult, the mixed multitude of people that left and that journeyed with them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and according to Israel, he told them they got to believe what we believe. They got to follow the practices that we practice. Amen. That's what he told Israel. They can come along with you, but they got to do what we do. Amen. Hallelujah. But when he came to the church, amen, that changed. Amen. And Paul was letting them know to receive everybody. Now, you don't judge them based on whether they they don't eat temple meat, that they do eat temple meat. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They called it, amen, vegetables. Amen. We call it vegetables. Amen. They say herb. Amen. In the King James. Amen. But it's, it's vegetables. Amen. And whether you're vegetarian and not vegetarian, vegan. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't, don't criticize. Amen. And critique one another and cast each other down. Amen. Because we are supposed to build up one another in this most holy faith. Amen. Hallelujah. And so it's important for all of us. Amen. Hallelujah. To help one another and to build up one another. Hallelujah. In this most holy faith. And that's that's what we do as believers. Hallelujah. And we owe no man just to serve the Lord. Amen. How to don't know, owe no man anything but to show love and serve the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So Romans 14th chapter. Amen. I know we're going to be at the 8th and ninth verse, but can we walk up to that this morning? Amen. Or oh, this afternoon, just turned over to afternoon. Amen. So let's go to Romans. Amen. 14. It says, he that is weak in faith receive ye, but uh, not to doubt disputions and not to doubtful disputions. Amen. Don't argue. Don't criticize. Amen. Who can be received? Who can't be received? Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden, I shall give you rest. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so he said, all power has been given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore unto the, all nations and preach the gospel to every creature, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe whatsoever I command you. And lo, I'm with you always, even until the end of the age. In other words, whosoever will, let them come. Let them drink of the waters of life freely. Amen. Hallelujah. Not your opinion, your thought, your idea is not 
amen, the will of God, amen. What thus saith the Lord is the will of God. Well, he's given us an instruction and he's given us, amen, an imperative, a command, a direction, amen. That's the will of God. But your thoughts, your our opinions, amen, are not, amen. There's a way to seem right to a man, but they win, the end is this death. Every man is right in his own eyes. Every man do what seemeth right in his own eyes, amen. The heart is uh, deceitful and desperately wicked. The tongue hangs on the hinges of hell. There's no good good thing in the, I mean, how many scriptures you want me to quote? Hallelujah. To prove that it's not us, it's God. Amen. That's doing the work. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people. We are the sheep of his pasture. Amen. It is he that doeth the work. Amen. So it's not for us to critique or to dress up our little Barbie doll and Ken doll. Amen. Amen. When people come in the church, we want to dress them like this and wear like this and talk like this and do like this. Amen. The direct opposite of what he told them to do in Israel. Amen. The mixed multitude want to come along, but they got to worship like we worship and do what we do. Amen. But when it came to the church, amen. Hallelujah. Let's receive them openly. Amen. For one believer that he may eat all things, another uh, who is weak eateth herbs. Amen. Hallelujah. Let not him that uh, eateth despise him that eateth not, and let him which eateth not judge him that eateth, for God hath received him. Amen. Don't judge because you had Jews that didn't eat, you know, uh, <clears throat> the temple meat that was sacrificed to idols, and he would tell them, amen, at a different part, amen, if your brother see you, don't eat it, amen, but if you're in your house, bless it and eat it. Amen. When nobody can see, because you don't want to offend your brother. You don't want to make somebody, amen, fall. And it's all about us coming to God, coming into the church, and getting ourselves better and, and aligning us up with the will of God and the word of God. It does not make a difference how they come in. Hallelujah. It doesn't make a difference how they come into church. Amen. The, the, the point is that they come to church. Amen. And everybody, just like you, are seeking your salvation or walking in your salvation. Amen. And seeking a closer walk with thee, daily walking close to thee. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed Jesus, I believe, is my plea. Hallelujah. I messed that song up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. But I'm daily walking with him. And that's what we all should do. Daily walk close to thee. Let it be, Lord. Let it be. I'm weak, but thou art strong. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, amen. If he eats the meat, amen, and you don't, don't criticize him, don't judge him. Amen. Hallelujah. If they don't eat, amen, don't say, well, we do this like this at this church. At our church, we do. No, 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 no. Let somebody seek the will of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's line up with the will and the word of God. And God will do the work. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, God hath received them. Amen. He has received the person. They've come to Christ. They've come into the house of the Lord. Amen. And the fourth verse says, Who art thou that judges another man's servant? Amen. To his own master. He standeth or falleth. Yea, he shall be holding of him, for God is able to make him stand. In other words, whatever your rules of the house are, amen, hallelujah, you wouldn't go into somebody else's house try to change, amen, the way they're supposed to do it, amen, so you wouldn't tell them what they should do, amen, with their children or this or that, amen, hallelujah, in their house, amen. This is the house of God. We don't come in and tell God or tell the people of God, hey, oh, Lord Jesus, that's a, that's a, I told you this is a great, Amen. This is a great act of Sunday evening service discussion. Amen. To go through this 14th chapter of Romans. It, it's, 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 it would be a great teaching lesson and great uh, um, ministry lesson. What they talk, what they call the back door, closing the back door because people coming through the front and, and, and anybody can be, you know, open that back door and amen, escort them right back out to church again. Help to build the saints. Build up one another in this most holy faith. Edify the church. Amen. This will be a good after service or evening service or Friday seminar. Amen. Saturday. Amen. Sit down and discussing. Amen. Hallelujah. How to receive people into the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, uh, so whatever they do, you don't, you don't tell somebody to do what to do in somebody else's house. Amen. Hallelujah. You respect the house, so respect God's house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, fifth verse says, one man esteems one day above another, another esteems uh, every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Jewish, uh, non-Jewish, again, Sabbath, Sunday, whatever the day is. Amen. Don't judge somebody because they worship on Saturday or Wednesday back in the day. Anyway, hallelujah. <laughs> 
We was condemning them all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You call, whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I just cleared up right there. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we don't judge what day they worship. Amen. It's your. It's just the fact that you come to Christ. The sixth verse says, uh, he that regardeth the day, regardeth it unto the Lord. He that regardeth not the, the day to the Lord, he doth he not regard it. He that uh, eateth, eateth to the Lord. He that giveth, God thanks. And he that eateth not to the Lord, eateth not and giveth a God thanks. Hallelujah. Amen. So we don't judge them. Uh, for none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. Amen. We're not doing this for ourselves. This is not for saying self-glory. Amen. Or self-gain. Hallelujah. It's for the, for the sake of the cross. Amen. Hallelujah. We are on this journey. Amen. Because he saved me. He delivered me. I said I wasn't going to tell nobody, but I couldn't keep it to myself. Hallelujah. Amen. And so I'm going to share what the Lord has done for me. So it's not about me. It's about what God has done for me, through me, in me. Hallelujah. And lifted me up also out of a horrible pit, place my, a horrible pit placed my feet upon a rock, established my goings. God has blessed and delivered and made a way out of no way and opened doors to seen closed. And I'm going to give him glory, honor, and praise. I'm just sharing. I'm just testifying. Amen. You don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can't tell it, let me tell it. Hallelujah. What the Lord has done for me. Amen. So here's our key scripture, the, the eighth verse for whether we live, we live unto the Lord and whether we die, we die unto the Lord, whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. Amen. Hallelujah. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The ninth verse says, for, for this end, Christ doth both died, uh, hallelujah, and rose and revived that he might be the Lord, both of the dead and the living. For this end, Christ both died and rose and revived. Amen. That he might be Lord, both of the dead and the living. Uh, if he's not God of all, he's not God at all. Hallelujah. In him we live, we move, we have our being. We exist by his power, by his might. Hallelujah. By his authority. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We wouldn't rise up in the morning if it wasn't for Jesus. Amen. We wouldn't, hallelujah, have lay down at night and have sleep if it wasn't for Jesus. Amen. Every day that he gives us is a blessing. Uh, is a bless. This is the day that the Lord hath made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad and I'm going to give him glory honor and praise for the things that he has done for this is the end is in Christ both died and rose and revived that he might be Lord both of the dead and the living if I make my bed in hell you're there if I take the wings of the morning fly into the utmost God you're there everywhere I go whether can I flee from your prayer I can't get nowhere and you're not there because your arm not present you're everywhere at the same time you're in my trouble with me hallelujah but yet you're still in my deliverance hallelujah hallelujah you you're in what where i was and what i am and what i will be he told john on the out of patmos i'm alpha and i'm omega i'm the first and i'm the last i'm he which was is and is to come the almighty god so we put our trust in him we put our faith in him we don't judge and condemn one another and make them into our image and our likeness as paul said in Romans 1, we take in the image of the incorruptible God and make it like unto man. And we take the, Im the image of the incorruptible selfishness of ourselves, amen, of, of God, and we make it unto our selfish, amen. And do we mold people and shape people into our image and in our likeness rather than in his image and in his likeness. We have to, amen, take off the old man, amen, hallelujah, the old song you should sing. That's a gray hair right there. That's a gray hair song. Take off the old man and put on the new. This is what you ought to do. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to take off that old man. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And forgetting those things that are behind me and reaching forward to those things that are before me. I'm pressing toward the mark of a high calling in Christ Jesus. And we, I, you had to leave you to get to you. Hallelujah. Amen. You had to leave you to get to the God in you, the new person. Hallelujah. Amen. The new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So why in the world would we judge somebody walking in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Haven't got the other foot in the dough yet. Hallelujah. And now we judging them and you got to do this and you got to do this and you got to do this and this. And we put it with all our, amen, hallelujah, humanity on them instead.
instead of the divine power of God. Amen. Search the scriptures for in there you think you have eternal life. Study to show yourself approved under God. A workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Give them Christ. Amen. He said if he be lifted up, he'll draw all men unto him. Hallelujah. So let's lift up Jesus. Let's magnify and oh magnify the Lord with me and let them let's let's exalt his name together. And so when we come into God's house and we praise and magnify and lift up the holy name of Jesus, let us as the believers in Christ, if you believe him for your salvation, believe him for somebody else's salvation. If you believed him to clean you up, pick you up, turn you around, place your feet on a solid ground, then let him do it for your brother. Let him do it for your sister. Let him do it for your house and your children. Hallelujah. Let him do it. Hallelujah. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Hallelujah. He has all power in his hand. He has the authority. Then don't try to take it from him. Don't try to usurp his authority. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just trust in him. Believe on him, the Bible says, as the scriptures have said, and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. So we don't judge him. Amen. We don't judge them as they come into God's house. We magnify and lift up. We thank God. We The angels are praising. Heaven, the hosts are praising. Why can't you just praise God? Hallelujah. And not, and not play dress up. Hallelujah. Don't play Christian dress up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let God do the work. Ah, oh, God. Hallelujah. Let God do the work. Hallelujah. Let Jesus be Lord. Let Jesus fix it. Won't he fix it? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just trust and believe in him and everything will be all right. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, hallelujah, hallelujah, or die, we are the Lord's. If I perish, I'm going to perish. I'm going to see the king. No matter what happened, amen, no matter what, amen, if it costs my life, I'm going to see the king. Amen. We are all doing this for Christ. Amen. Old Psalm Margo used to sing, you can build, amen, cathedrals, amen, hallelujah, great or small. You can build sky, skyscrapers, grand and tall. You can conquer all the frailties of your past, amen, but only what you do for Christ, amen, hallelujah, that's the foundation, neither is there any other foundation, there's no other foundation that was laid, amen, hallelujah, then Christ himself, amen, in him is our life, we dwell, we, we have our being, we move, and he's the, he's the foundation of everything, so we don't lead, we don't build that foundation with the flesh, we build it on Christ, the solid rock we stand, everything else is sinking ground, amen, all other ground, the Bible says, amen, the song says, is sinking sand, amen, and we praise and magnify, and we lift up the name of Jesus, we are, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, the Lord's, amen, Man, we belong to him. I belong to you. Amen. How do you belong to me? I'm surrounded everywhere that I go. Israel Houghton sings the song. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We got to believe. Don't, don't play makeup. Don't play dress up. Amen. Get your, amen, little kitten baby and kitten doll. Amen. Hallelujah. Your little doll babies and you dress it up, put the wigs and comb it and do all the kind of stuff to it. Amen. And go to, go to the store. Amen. And, and um, left it and shut them down. Amen. And online ordering. And order one online. Amen. And play with the doll and whatever you want to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But when it comes to believers, leave them alone. Let God do the work. Hallelujah. They receive the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is more powerful than you. Hallelujah. Amen. And let it do the work. Let the Holy Ghost. Let God abide. Hallelujah. Hey, God, thank you. And let the enemies be scattered. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It was your understanding, your thoughts, your ideas. It was the flesh that caused condemnation in the first place. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We're free from the law. Amen. For the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. There will therefore no, no condemnation of them that are in Christ Jesus. For the spirit of life in Christ Jesus have freed me from the law of sin and death. That spirit is faster than my mouth. Hallelujah. I try to keep up with it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I can't. It's too fast for me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's free. We're free. God has freed us. Hallelujah. Third Sunday. Hallelujah. Freedom. We are free. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And he whom the son has made free is free indeed. And don't let nobody condemn you and bound you and lock you to, to the wisdom and understanding of man. Hallelujah. If any man lack wisdom, the Bible says, let him ask of God. Hallelujah. So that, that wisdom come from God. It's the closest thing we have 
to how God thinks. Hallelujah. Who can know the mind of God? Nobody. But the closest thing we have to the mind and understanding of God is wisdom itself that comes from God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so, amen. He said, ask and I'll give it. Seeking you shall find. Knocking the door shall be opened unto you. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we lead. Amen. We help. Amen. We console. We, amen. If, we, if needed, we point them in the right direction. Amen. Hallelujah. But we don't judge people as they come to church. Amen. You want to deal with the temple meeting and all the stuff they're dealing with, they were dealing with back then. Amen. But there are some circumstances and situations where unto we judge folk. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The, the style of hair, the clothes they wear. Hallelujah. The language. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Their pedigree. Hallelujah. Amen. You, you, you don't want them around. You got to speak better. You you do this and you do that. I know. No, don't judge nobody coming in the house of God. Let them come in. Whosoever will, let them come. All powers be given to me. Come to me, all that labor and heavy laden, and I shall give you rest. Don't judge them. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Embrace them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and let the Lord use them. Amen. In a mighty way. Amen. How to whosoever will, let them come. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We are the Lord's. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are his. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and he is mine. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I am his and he is mine. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't it a good thing to know? Amen. Hallelujah. That he loves us and cares for us. Hallelujah. We can give our life to him. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and be confident. Amen. That he going to take care of us. Amen. Hallelujah. He will do the things that he'll give you the things ne necessary for life. Amen. Hallelujah. We are the Lord's. Amen. God bless you, family. In Jesus' name. Again, put in your, your prayer requests. Amen. Praise reports. Amen. Free at last. That's right, Brother Holmes. Thank God Almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and Martin, we wasn't free when he said it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We were bound by a lot of things and we're still bound by other things today. But let me tell you something. In Christ, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You can become free. I'll let you come on the broadcast if you want. Hallelujah. And tell pastor said we I can become free. You try this. Hallelujah. Y'all tell me. Y'all can say it right now on the comment section if I'm telling y'all something that's not true. Hallelujah. You can be free. There's a lot of stuff you're bound by, your work and your family and even commitments and to this and amen. I found out when I was a young man, Brother Holmes, I can do what I want, when I want, how long I want it. Hallelujah. Amen. When you come old, it seems like you always, I'm not old, but you know, when you become older, seem like you always on somebody else's time. Somebody need you to do this and I want you to do that and I want you to do this and this. Now, I ain't talking about church or ministry or pastor. I'm talking about just being an adult. Hallelujah. Amen. I got to go over here. This person need me. And, and so amen. Everything has got time and everything got locked up. But let me tell you something. When you come into Christ, hallelujah. Amen. You abide in him and he abide in you. Hallelujah. Amen. You free. Hallelujah. Thank you. It's time for God's people to be delivered and set free from the bondage Amen. The slave masters, the taskmasters, hallelujah, amen, to have created things in their image and in their likeness, hallelujah, rather than building the kingdom of God and the house of God, hallelujah, this is in my image and in my likeness, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, amen, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free, hallelujah, it's not pretense ministries, amen, real love, real people, real church, real pastor, I'm going to tell you the truth, I'm going to tell you like a T-I is, hallelujah, amen, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, I'm not placating or manipulating you, and, and anyway, I'm about to get myself in trouble, amen, hallelujah, amen, give you the truth, the, the naked word of God, the undulterated word of God, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, love Love me. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Don't like me. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Mountaintop. Hallelujah. Valley low. Hallelujah. I'm going to go louder in the valley. Hallelujah. Amen. Ain't nobody there to tell me to be quiet. Hallelujah. I'm going to yell louder. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus because he's worthy no matter what.
make my bed in hell, you're there. If I take the wings of the morning, fly to the utmost, God, you're there. Hallelujah, weather can I flee? I'm good. Hallelujah, no matter what, because you're there. Hallelujah, yea, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You're with me. Hallelujah. And so I'm going to praise and magnify your holy name, who shall separate me from the love of God. Hallelujah. He is, I'm, he is mine and I'm his. I'm his servant. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I told you Israel seen I would play it if, amen, I had my studio stuff set up. Amen. But it's all right anyhow. Hallelujah. Amen. I belong to you. Amen. You belong to me. I'm surrounded everywhere that I go. Hallelujah. You promised me. Hallelujah. You'll never leave me. Hallelujah. You promised me. Hallelujah. Uh, you never forsake me. I believe. Hallelujah. Thank you. Goodness and mercy shall follow me everywhere that I go. Amen. God bless you, family. Amen. Thank God bless you, Minister, Minister Thomas. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, uh, young man. Just keep keep the faith. Stay in the race. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, right, sir. I'm going to keep it. Uh, 100. <laughs> I'm in Springfield. We say 100. If I was in town, I'd say 100. Hallelujah. Well, I'm in Springfield. I'm in the suburbs. Amen. Hallelujah. So I have to say 100. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Free at last. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm looking for a prayer request. Hey, mama. I love you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mama feels on with y'all today. Amen. Hallelujah. Every praise is to our God. That's right, preacher. Amen. Hallelujah. Every word of worship. Hallelujah. Lord, God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Sister Patricia. Amen. And God bless you in the work that you do and the encouragement that you give people. Amen. Over the air, on the broadcast, on Facebook. It's very encouraging to people. We need some love. Amen. We need random acts. Amen. Of kindness. Whenever you see random acts of violence. Amen. As we see uh, on purpose, go out and be kindly and affectionate to someone. Amen. Hallelujah. Just open the door for somebody. Say good morning. Hallelujah. Amen. I was coming out of a um, medical facility. I was going into a medical facility. Amen. And a lady was walking with a cane, like, like a stick, with a stick cane like this. I said, good morning. And she said, don't say good morning to somebody with a cane. I said, lady, somebody will take your cane. They would, have, they would love to have your cane because they're in a wheelchair. Amen. Or they or they lay it out in the hill somewhere. Hallelujah. Thank you. They would love to have, amen, the, the activity that you had, even the words to look at me and like she chewing on lemons. Don't say good morning to somebody with a cane. I said, I'm wrong. Look, pray for your child. I had to pray for her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In everything we give God thanks. Amen. For this is the will of God concerning us. Hallelujah. Amen. So no matter what, we give God praise and glorify his name. No, everything ain't perfect, but we give God praise. So I appreciate you. Amen. Minister Carter. Amen. Hallelujah. Words of encouragement. Real with Neil. Amen. Dr. Baldwin. I'm started talking now. Now I'm in trouble now. Amen. All those different broadcasts and different people on here giving out great word and great words of encouragement and positivity. Tony Ray Smith. God bless you, sir. Amen. How everything that we do, let's do it to the to the glory of God. Hallelujah. So when you see stuff like what's going on, amen, and next week it'd be something else, or two weeks from now, amen, hallelujah. It's happening so rapidly, amen, hallelujah, that let's just do random acts of kindness. That's what I say, amen, hallelujah. Random acts of kindness, amen, hallelujah. Just show, show that love. The Bible, Romans 12 says, be not overcome of evil, 21, I believe, the 21st verse. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Amen. Hallelujah. So every time, just, just because it's Tuesday, just because it's Thursday, just go out and just do something nice for somebody. Amen. Let's counter this. Amen. Because you can impact more than 11 people. You can impact more than what was mailed to those people. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can impact more people than that. Amen. In the name of Jesus and, and touch their life and bless somebody and bless the life of somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what Pastor Phil say. Random acts of kindness. Hashtag. Amen. Hashtag those. Amen. Random acts of kindness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When we see these things. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's happening in the world. Touch somebody and help somebody's life. Amen. If I can help somebody as I travel along, then my living will not be in vain. 
Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Father, we just thank you for this day that you have made. We want to be rejoice and be glad. And Lord God, we ask for your divine covering and blessings to all those, the families and friends of the victims. Amen. Of this latest, latest shooting. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In Pittsburgh, Lord God, and the mailings, the fear that was cast out, Lord God, to the news organization and all those that receive or heard that somebody sent them something. And we thank God that it didn't make it to the houses and the homes. And Lord God, but we still ask for your divine hand upon even the mail workers and those that had to deal with it and handle that. Amen. And call in bomb squads and different ones into those facilities. Amen. That, that run interference. Amen. To these uh, homes and, and pray for those Lord God that don't have interference or nobody that's checking their mail. Amen. In the name of Jesus and Lord God, we ask for your divine hand upon your people and let us do random acts of kindness. Lord God, and show your love, your divine love that covers uh, a, a, a multitude of sin. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that blesses people, Lord, in the name of Jesus, move in the hearts and minds of your people. You said, if my people that are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek your face, turn from our wicked ways, then we will hear from heaven. You'll forgive our sin and you'll heal the land. We are yours, God. Hallelujah. You are ours. Hallelujah. You are our God. Beside you, there is no other. Hallelujah, Lord God. And we lift our heads to you. We lift our eyes unto the hills who come of our help. Our help coming from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. And Lord God, helps to show love one toward another. And Lord God, and bless your holy name and help each other and build up one another in this most holy faith. Lord God, bless us as a people of God. Help us to stand in the evil day and have it done all to stand. Stand therefore, Lord God, it's beyond political. Lord God, hallelujah. It's beyond legislative and judicial. Lord God, it's beyond, amen, what man has set up. Hallelujah. This is you, God. It's, it's the work of your hands. Bless the work of our hands, God. It's you that has made us and not we ourselves. Lord God, hallelujah. Let thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth. Ah, God, thank you, as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. We are yours and you are ours, God. You are our God. And we thank you. We praise and magnify your holy name. Bless every home, every family, Lord God, that's represented here today, wherever they may be, whatever, hallelujah, circumstances they may be under, Lord God. Blot out our transgressions, renew a right spirit within us, purge us with hyssop, and we shall be clean, wash us, and we shall be whiter than snow. Every day that we live, let it be a closer walk with you, daily walking close with you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let God abide and let the enemies be scattered, came in one way, leave seven ways, in the name of Jesus. We speak it, we call it, we claim it, we believe it, we're walking in it. Hallelujah, because without faith, it's impossible to please you. And faith without works is dead. So we're going to walk in faith and believe you and trust you. Yea, that we walk through the valley shadow of death. No matter what happens, we're going to fear no evil for you're with us, God. Hallelujah, we're going to praise and magnify and lift you up. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 and amen. Thank you, family. We thank God for you being with us today. Give him glory, honor, and praise, and magnify his holy name. Magnify the name of Jesus. Lift him. Amen. For he's worthy to be praised wherever you are. Just give him praise. Unless it's somewhere, you can't holler. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But if you can, give him praise. Are you somewhere where you can lift your hands and nobody's calling in the security? Amen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give him praise and glorify and magnify the holy name of Jesus because he's worthy to be praised. He's holy. Hallelujah. Holy and righteous is his name. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him and magnify him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When was the last time you just went in and praised him and hallelujah laid before his feet, bask in his glory, ah, in his presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your holy name. Hallelujah. We praise you. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun. You're worthy, Jesus, is your word. You're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Jesus, blessed Savior. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. And we pray 
praise and magnify his holy name. Thank you. Praise him in the sanctuary. Praise him in your home. Praise him in your cubicle. Amen. Praise him. Amen. Hallelujah. If you drive and pull over and praise him. Hallelujah. In the name of God. Thank you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just praise and magnify his holy name because he's worthy. You might be in the plane. Hallelujah. And other people might be watching it. Hallelujah. Amen. But let them praise him with you. It runs from heart to heart. And I dare you. Hallelujah. I triple double dare you. It runs from heart to heart and breast to breast. Now watch if you give him praise. Hallelujah. Watch how his praise goes. Hallelujah. Amen. You might find out somebody, there's a believer right there sitting next to you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, give him praise because he's worthy. Hallelujah. Lord, you are worthy. You're worthy. Hallelujah. To be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, family. We love you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. If you don't know Christ in the pardon of your sin, receive him today. Amen. Hallelujah. He died for your sins. He sent Jesus Christ. God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son. That's that sign. John 3, 16. You see people hang so in the hats and different ones. Hallelujah. God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believing in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, amen. We trust God. We believe God. And we just give our life to him. We just yield to the will of God. Amen. Especially when you see so much chaos and confusion and hatred. Amen. And combativeness. We give it to God and we yield it. Hallelujah. Not that we are passive. Not that we don't care. And hallelujah. Amen. Not a, that we're not unconcerned. Amen. We worry and sometimes, amen, have the same concerns everybody else has. It's just that we just turn it, cast all your cares on him for he care for you. Amen. Let me put that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's yours. Hallelujah. That's yours, Lord. Hallelujah. That's yours. That's yours, Lord. Hallelujah. That's yours, Lord. I'm just giving. The more stuff come, you got some more? Okay, come on. Hallelujah. I just keep casting it. I keep giving it to the Lord. Hallelujah. Cast all your cares on him. For he care for you. Give it to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Old James Cleveland song, give it to me. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll share it. If you give it to me, I'll bear it. Hallelujah. If you only, hallelujah, give it to me. Amen. Give it to him and everything's going to be all right. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just receive him as your Lord and Savior today. Amen. Get into a good church preaching and teaching and sharing the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and preaching Christ and salvation. Amen. And everything's going to be all right. Amen. Hallelujah. You're certainly welcome to come here to Agape World at Ministry. I'll be honored to be your pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. Join us at 11 o'clock Sunday morning as we praise and magnify and lift up the holy name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you don't have a church home, if you're not in the area, Amen. Find a, a, a good preaching. Like I said, a Bible believing church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're certainly welcome to join our amen online family here. Amen. The God Pay Worldwide Ministries. Amen. It's on our YouTube channel, Facebook. Amen. You're welcome to be a part of our ministry here at Agape. Amen. I love you and I thank God for you. Where we have real people. Amen. Hallelujah. Real love, real people, real church. Amen. So we're grateful to the Lord for that. Amen. Those that want to give to the ministry, you're certainly welcome to do so. Amen. We have Cash App, PayPal. Amen. You can mail it here to the location here in Springfield, Virginia. Amen. You can do that as well. Amen. The information is on your screen or it's, amen, in the description box. Amen. And you can bless the house of God. The need is great. The need is immediate. Hallelujah. I told y'all, amen, we needed uh, 1,500 by the end, amen, hallelujah, of October, which is tomorrow. Amen, hallelujah, amen. And so uh, that need is a is $1,000 now, amen. So as many that can help us with that, amen, hallelujah, amen. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you all who have helped us. Amen. And God bless you for whom have helped us. Amen. Hallelujah. So the, today and tomorrow, amen, is the tale of the tape. Amen. And we need, amen, that uh, 1,000, amen, 5, 10, whatever you can give toward it, amen, will be a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we have to add it to the 2,500 for November. Amen. Hallelujah. But if we can take care of that thousand now, it won't see November. So we pray that it don't see November. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody touch and agree with me. Hallelujah. That it won't see November. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of I, I claim it. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. So God bless you, everybody. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And and we thank God for you. Hallelujah. Join us this weekend. Uh, uh, tomorrow, the next couple of days is kind of bittersweet. Uh, to keep us in prayer, the Fields family in prayer, because tomorrow we'll mark one year uh, that my father passed away. Amen. So keep Mama Fields in prayer. Amen. Keep the family in prayer and friends in prayer as we commemorate. Oh, amen. Hallelujah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do anything. But we're gonna. Amen. Just keep us in prayer. Amen. Tomorrow. Amen. Because that's one year that pops. Amen. Went away. Amen. From here. Amen. Hallelujah. And so y'all keep us in prayer. That first of November is a celebration for here for us here at Agape, where our ministries. Amen. Past and present. Uh, 7240 days the day we walked in here November the 1st amen hallelujah 2008 we walked through those doors had service the late great Bishop Derek B Pollins amen preached the first sermon here before I did he beat me hallelujah amen he preached the first sermon here message here amen in the name of Jesus as we came into this building right here in Springfield Virginia so tomorrow night we having a potluck dinner Amen. You're welcome to come out. Amen. Let our secretary know. Netta, she's on here. Y'all can click on or, amen, uh, contact the church. And, amen, she's coordinating that dinner tomorrow night. Amen. Let you know what you, what you can bring or what you want to bring and all that kind of stuff. Amen. So she's, uh, I leave it in her capable hands. Amen. So she's taking care of that. Amen. And so uh, you're welcome. Everybody's welcome to come out and be a part of that dinner tomorrow night here at Agape at 7 p.m. Amen. Hallelujah. Just a dinner. We having a dinner with fellowship one with another. Amen. Won't be a service. Amen. Just come on out and get your meal. Amen. Hallelujah. And 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 uh, shake hands with the family here at Agape Worldwide Ministries. Amen. At 7 o'clock. So God bless you all. Like I said, it's bittersweet. Amen. Hallelujah. My, my dad's with the Lord. He couldn't be in no other place. My pastor, Bishop Rob, you should say, if God would let him come back, they won't. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Ashby family, if God would let Mama Ashby come back, she would not. Hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. If God would let my dad come back, he would not, because in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy, and at his right hand pleasures forevermore. So if you have a lost loved one, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Know that they're in a better place than where we are today. Hallelujah, amen, and so we thank God for them and the families and all those bereaved families y'all keep them in prayer amen and, and like i said the nonsense the violence amen how the innocent blood shedding innocent blood hallelujah amen let's do random acts of kindness amen sharing the blood of jesus hallelujah in the name of jesus i pray somebody get the holy ghost hallelujah amen in the name of jesus and get saved and delivered and set free by the power of god amen thank you so much again Friday night, armor of God, whole armor of God, amen. We got seven speakers from around the D.C., the DMV, that's going to be coming and speaking and preaching, amen. And so y'all come on out Friday night at 7, amen, and let's enjoy that service. Sunday morning, uh, Bishop Dennis White, Eyewitness Church, will be here, amen, and uh, Dr. Washington will be here at 3 p.m. So come on out, men, fellas, dudes, compadres, come on, man, let's, let's, let's come together. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And come on out on the Friday, Saturday, I mean, Friday night, Sunday morning and Sunday evening. Amen. And join us in our men's conference. Everybody's welcome. Women, you're welcome. Children, youth, everybody. Grandpa, grandma. Hallelujah. Re <laughs> Y'all know it. Agape know what I was getting ready to say. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But everybody is welcome. Amen. And invite in, invite others to come. Amen. And join us. If you're out of the area, we have an embassy suites right across the street, Springfield uh, Embassy Suites. Amen. Hallelujah. By Hilton. They own the company. Amen. And so you just go on over there. Amen. And you can stay right five minutes from the church. Amen. And come on and join us in um, in service here on Friday night, Sunday morning and Sunday evening. Men's Conference 2018. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Love you so much in Jesus' name. Our closing scripture, 1 Timothy, 1 chapter, 17th verse. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, Amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. 
This is the Agape Way. God bless you, family. In Jesus' name, I love you, and I'll see you next time. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Budenite Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.